As the global aviation industry enters a stage of saturation, where every innovation seems to have reached the limits of physics and technology, only those bold enough to break the rules can survive. That's when Airbus strikes its decisive blow. At the recent Airbus summit, the European giant shocked the entire aviation world by unveiling a mysterious project called A360. With a groundbreaking design, a bold vision, and what could be Airbus's biggest turning point in decades, this next-generation wide-body aircraft is said to surpass even the Boeing 787 and the 777X. So, what exactly makes the A360 so special that Boeing should be worried? And how could it redefine the future of global aviation? Let's find out. Imagine this. What kind of machine will inherit the throne of commercial aviation in the next decade? Among countless conceptual sketches for Airbus's next-generation aircraft, one name keeps resurfacing. Airbus A360. Many have hastily dubbed it the new A380, a smaller two-deck successor to the giant that once failed. However, if the market has taught the maker a costly lesson about the inefficiency of four-engine aircraft, the European manufacturer surely won't make that mistake again. Today, absolute efficiency and twin-engine wide-bodies are the name of the game. Rather than looking back, Airbus engineers are betting on a completely new technological revolution, one that breaks away from anything ever seen in the European maker's existing aircraft designs. So, what exactly is this mysterious A360? It's not just an upgrade, it's a completely new technological platform designed to compete directly with heavyweights like the Boeing 777X, promising advancements that go far beyond what the A350 or Boeing 787 have achieved. The secret lies in its integration of cutting-edge technologies, most notably the open rotor engine, a bold concept featuring unshrouded propellers capable of achieving a staggering bypass ratio of up to 70 to 1. To put that into perspective, that's far above the little over 10 to 1 ratio of the Boeing 787's engine, marking a tremendous leap in efficiency. The higher the bypass ratio, the more efficient the engine, translating into significant fuel savings. This engine not only promises to cut fuel consumption by up to 25% compared to current turbofan engines, a claim already proven feasible through CFM, International's RISE program, but is also designed to dramatically reduce noise, ensuring a smoother passenger experience while minimizing airport noise pollution. In addition to maximize aerodynamic performance, the A360 could feature folding wingtips similar to the 777X, allowing for a larger wingspan in flight while still folding neatly to fit existing airport gates, a smart solution to enhance efficiency without requiring massive infrastructure changes. But you know what's even more remarkable? Instead of relying on traditional flaps, the aircraft might employ morphing wing technology, a system that allows the wings to automatically change shape throughout the flight to optimize aerodynamics. Unlike conventional wings that are optimized for only one phase of flight, morphing wings are far more versatile. During takeoff and landing, the wings adjust to create a curved surface, maximizing lift and reducing noise without the need for heavy flaps. During cruise, they transform into a sleeker shape to minimize drag and improve fuel efficiency, even helping absorb turbulence for a smoother ride. And the final astonishing feature of this aircraft, its fuselage will continue the industry trend of using advanced composite materials, carbon fiber, making the airframe lighter, stronger, and far more corrosion resistant than traditional aluminum. But will all these innovations be enough to make the A360 a true game changer capable of reshaping the entire aviation landscape? That's uncertain for now. However, if it successfully combines all of these technologies along with the following features, the A360 could very well become an unstoppable contender. But before uncovering the surprises that the Airbus A360 might bring, have you ever wondered why, despite already having a powerful and competitive aircraft lineup, Airbus still needs an entirely new aircraft program, a colossal investment that could determine the fate of the entire company? This is not just an addition to the fleet, the A360 is the significant move, the decisive play in Airbus's long-term strategy designed to turn the tables and reclaim the throne of the skies. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. Trust us, you won't want to miss it. To understand the necessity of the jetliner, we must first look back at the role of the A35. The maker made a shrewd strategic move by positioning the A350 as a sweet spot aircraft within the wide-body market. While the aviation world often compares it to Boeing's 787 or 777X, analysts believe the A350 was never meant to go head-to-head -head with either of them. Instead, it cleverly filled the gap between the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the 777X, 
capturing a unique niche for airlines that needed something larger than the 787, but not as massive as the upcoming 777X. However, this smart move inadvertently left a dangerous void in the super-large aircraft segment. Despite facing certification challenges and development delays, Boeing's 777X, a true game-changer, has already secured hundreds of orders from major airlines such as Emirates and Qatar Airways. These orders are undeniable proof of airlines' strong faith in the 777X's payload capacity and performance. To counter this new giant, Airbus has little choice but to launch a completely new aircraft, one armed with the most advanced technology to outperform its rival in both efficiency and capacity. This is the fundamental mission behind the A360 program currently under consideration. Yet that's not all. The A360's ambitions extend far beyond simply challenging the 777X. The maker is preparing for a two-front battle, targeting a golden opportunity within the 787 Dreamliner market. The key lies in the Dreamliner's life cycle. The earliest 787s, delivered in 2011, will begin to reach retirement age by the mid-2000s, creating a massive replacement window for wide-body aircraft. That timing will be perfect for the next-generation A360 to enter the fight, directly competing with the Dreamliner and appealing to airlines seeking a more efficient alternative. Although Boeing currently holds the lead with 993 unfilled 787 orders, making it the best-selling wide-body in history as of mid-2025, Airbus has identified a critical weakness. Most of these new orders are concentrated in the Dash 9 and Dash 10 variants, while the Dash 8 is facing declining demand. This is precisely where the European maker plans to strike. Instead of spreading resources across all market segments, it could narrow its focus, developing an A360 variant with a similar capacity to the 787-9, 10, but with greater range and superior fuel efficiency. Such optimization would make the new aircraft an irresistible replacement for aging Dreamliner fleets. But here comes the most intriguing question experts keep asking. Why is Airbus prioritizing a wide-body aircraft like the A360 instead of developing a next-generation narrow-body? The answer lies in the defensive strength and technological maturity of the A320 family, the European maker's impenetrable fortress. While the US maker's 737 family has undergone four major upgrades to remain competitive, Airbus's A320 line continues to dominate, with technology that remains relatively modern and efficient, having only undergone two major upgrades. Its fly-by-wire flight control system is still one of the most advanced and efficient in the industry. Moreover, the A320's taller landing gear provides a crucial design advantage, making it easier to accommodate next-generation engines without needing a complete airframe redesign. This stability and technological advantage mean that, in the near future, Airbus doesn't need to pour massive resources into defending its narrow-body segment. Instead, it can channel its full financial and engineering power into the wide-body game, where the biggest differentiation and profit potential lie. In this tense context, Airbus now has to face the decisions of survival, forced to make the most critical strategic decision in its modern history. The company faces two possible paths. It could choose the path of dominance, to build a comprehensive rival to both the 787 and the 777X embodied in the ambitious A360 program, or it could take the path of recovery, developing a successor to the 757 to challenge Boeing's rumored middle-of-the-market project, the so-called Boeing 797. Yet pursuing both programs at once would demand unprecedented financial resources and expose the manufacturer to massive technical and certification risks. History has shown that even a single failed aircraft program can bring down an entire corporation. That's why Airbus must weigh every move with extreme caution. Will it dare to go all in on the A360, an aircraft that could completely redefine the future of aviation? Or will it take the safer path instead? Either way, the fate of global aviation may well depend on that decision. However, before this aircraft can ever soar to the glorious heights Airbus envisions, the path ahead remains anything but easy. Before a single A360 takes flight, the manufacturer must overcome a series of formidable risks. This is not merely a technological race, it is an economic gamble of monumental scale. The first and most urgent challenge lies in the overwhelming backlog of aircraft orders. Both Airbus and Boeing are already struggling with thousands of undelivered jets. Launching a brand new program like the A360 at this moment would only intensify the strain on an already overstretched supply chain. Component suppliers, from engines and wings to avionics, 
are operating at full capacity to meet demand for the A320neo, A350, 737 MAX, and 787. Developing a completely new airliner would force them to ramp up production and invest in new facilities, potentially triggering a large-scale supply chain crisis. History has shown how real that threat can be. The CFM Leap engine, built for both the 737 MAX and A320neo, once suffered severe production delays, causing major delivery setbacks for both manufacturers. The ripple effect was disastrous, forcing airlines to keep older, less fuel-efficient jets flying far longer than planned. Introducing another new program now could inadvertently slow deliveries of Airbus's best-selling aircraft, hurting not only the company itself but also its airline customers, who are already frustrated with long wait times. Secondly, one of the greatest challenges lies in the longevity of modern aircraft. For instance, Boeing's 787 Dreamliner was engineered to last up to 30 years, far exceeding the 20-year lifespan of older aluminum widebodies like the 747 or the 777. This means a Dreamliner delivered in 2011, like the first one to all Nippon Airways, could still be flying well into 2040. That raises a difficult question. Can the new aircraft truly compete in a market where rivals like the 787 and A350 are built to endure for decades? Airlines such as United, with massive Dreamliner fleets, have little reason to rush replacements. Their existing aircraft remain highly efficient, while pilot retraining, maintenance infrastructure, and operational transitions all come with staggering costs. The long life cycle of today's jets suppresses replacement demand, creating a saturated market and amplifying the risks of any new program. Moreover, the financial burden is immense. Developing a clean sheet wide body requires an estimated 15 to 20 billion USD just for research, development, and certification, excluding new factories and supply infrastructure. It's a colossal gamble, especially in such a fiercely competitive era. History has proven how deadly such risks can be. Both the A380 and the 787 ended up costing far more than planned, inflicting massive financial losses on their makers. The order volume needed to break even could reach into the hundreds, if not thousands, of units. If this new aircraft faces technical setbacks, delays, or fails to attract sufficient orders, the maker could suffer a financial blow capable of threatening its very foundation. Finally, the clever market positioning of the A350 has brought Airbus impressive sales success. By avoiding direct confrontation with any single rival, the aircraft carved out a lucrative niche. Yet the introduction of the A360 could unintentionally cannibalize A350 sales, especially if airlines choose to delay purchases and wait for the next generation model. This is not a distant risk. This maker has faced it before, when the launch of the A350 contributed to declining demand for the A330. In short, while there are compelling reasons to believe Airbus will eventually pursue a new aircraft program, the financial, technological, and market challenges ahead mean the company must tread with extreme caution. So, will the European maker dare to stake its future on such a perilous gamble? What do you think? Let's discuss it in the comments below. And to stay updated on when Airbus will finally launch its next aircraft program, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us on our upcoming explorations. Thank you, and may all your flights be safe ones.